So here's how to connect the Magic Keyboard to your iPad. I know it's a basic topic, but for the first time users, it may actually be useful. Plus, many people search for this kind of stuff on YouTube, so why not cover it? There are some things that you need to know about the iPad's Magic Keyboard. Many things that you would expect when it comes to pairing process simply don't exist with this iPad's Magic Keyboard. So. There is literally no pairing, you don't go to Bluetooth settings, you don't connect it, you don't type in any codes like to, to pair it or whatever, you don't even charge the iPad's magic keyboard. You don't need to turn it on, you simply place your iPad on the keyboard and you're done. It's as simple as it gets. And the way you do that is as follows. So you open up the lid and place your keyboard on a desk, on a table or on any flat surface. And you notice the camera cutout and simply place your iPads on the keyboard in a way that you put the camera where it belongs. The cutout may be bigger, so for example, you have an iPad Air which only has one camera lens. It can still fit through it, but it, the keyboard has a bigger cutout in case you have like an iPad Pro or something. Once you snap it there, you just make sure that the trackpad is working. You just click around, move around, and you use the keyboard to see if it works. It also is going to light up. So uh, yes, you can see by that as well that the keyboard is connected and of course everything is working. It is in fact kind of hard to align the keyboard incorrectly so it wouldn't connect. But also make sure if, in, if you are in that case, that the three dot connector is aligned with the one on the iPad. So you can see right here, the three pins have to connect with the three dots on the iPad. So that's how you know that you are paired and connected. Like I said, you don't charge the magic keyboard, but you can see that the keys are backlit. It uses the battery of the iPad to power the keyboard. So you only charge the iPad to keep both the keyboard and iPad running. And as you can see on the left side of the hinge, there is a USB-C port, which can only be used for uh, charging. So you cannot stick any USBs or any other accessory there. It's just not gonna work. You can only charge the iPad through the keyboard, which is pretty handy. And it's also on the same side as on the MacBook. So it's kind of like a simple and similar process even. And the port of the iPad can be used for different things, for hard drives, external things, or some other accessories. So you can connect it that way. Of course, you can always detach the iPad and snap it back on anytime you want. So that's the good thing. And if you compare this to a laptop, to a MacBook, you cannot really do that. So you always have the full package. Whereas on the iPad, you can disconnect it at any time. So that's definitely a thing and probably we're getting close to the end of the video. It's a simple one, but hopefully it helped you. And if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more videos like these in the future. And yes, leave a comment even because I will probably reply to you. Thanks a lot for watching and your support and see you guys later.